I have no idea where running over your gear to test its durability originated, but I think it's a good place to start in testing the Magpul PMAG 17 GL9. What you're seeing in this portion of the test is me picking up the empty mag I ran over and loading it. Um, I loaded it first with my uh, fingers and then I picked up the maglula and started loading the remaining rounds with the maglula. It is hard for me to see how the PMAG 17 GL9 cannot be just as reliable and as tough as the original Glock OEM standard magazine. Welcome to Depredator Solutions. I'm JJ357. The Glock 19 was the only pistol that I ran both of the PMAGs through. Magpul's PMAG for the AR-15 and M4 have seen combat in Afghanistan seated in the M4 and M16 rifles of our U.S. military. Back in 2012, there was some rigmaru about don't use them, use them, Marines not using them. The point is that they've seen combat and they are tough and reliable. So why would Magpul's PMAG 17 GL9 not be just as tough and reliable? Now the PMAG 17 GL9 does not have the steel insert like the Glock factory OEM magazine has, so it may not be as strong. However, in regards to feeding reliability, I think it could match it. Now the Glock OEM uh, magazine does appear and uh, it feels stronger than the PMAC. However, that being said, in my limited experience and my experience with the PMAG is all captured here in this video, in my limited experience the PMAG is deceptively durable. The base plate on the PMAG magazine is larger than the base plate on a Glock magazine. This gives you more real estate should you experience a malfunction that warrants a grip it and rip it technique. The PMAG weighs 1 and 5 eighths ounces empty. That's one ounce lighter than the Glock. The Glock magazine weighs 2 and 5 eighths ounces empty.
I ran 189 rounds of ammo through both of the PMAGs without, without any kind of malfunctions. 100 of those rounds were the Winchester White Box. 55 of those were the Federal 9mm 115 grain aluminum case. And 34 of those rounds were the American Gunner by Hornaday. Standard pressured 115 grain hollow points. And again, no malfunctions. Of all the wishes I have for the firearms industry to make this, that, or the other, a PMAG for the Glock 1719 was never one of those wishes. And I have to admit that I am stoked that Magpul made the PMAG 17 G09. And the Magpul PMAG 17 GL9 is about $10 cheaper than the Glock original OEM 17 round magazine. Hornaday American Gunners shoot a little to the left. I don't like them. When you pick up a Magpul PMAG 17 GL9, make sure they are dated on or after 5, 2015. You can find this stamped on the magazine. Circle with the arrow pointing to the month and the year stamped right in the middle. And remember, stay frosty out there.